How's it going everyone? Javita here with another Let's Play episode. So I'm on Vita Loca at the moment. We're basically halfway to 31. I do have another round of rock that uh, should be done crafting. Okay, so technically this chronologically happens much later in the episode, however I didn't want to be kind of buried in the middle or whatnot, but anyway, there is a pretty interesting story behind this build, so last episode or maybe two episodes ago, uh, I discovered that there's a sign here with somebody's Discord name telling me to contact them and that they want me or wanted to give me the stuff in the storage here and whatnot. So the story behind the build is apparently one of my viewers, and I want to give a quick shout out to them. Uh, his name is Zachero, and apparently he watches a lot of my videos and kind of pestered uh, Savior to build something near me or I guess fun or whatnot. But uh, anyway, that's how this build kind of came about. Savior watched some of my videos, kind of figured out where I was and came here and build this and then uh, offered to give me this stuff. And so yeah, after a few conversations, we came up uh, with some pretty interesting ideas because I'm a little, like it's not unusual for uh, new players to get help from the more experienced players. It's I don't know. I, I always like to kind of throw out things to new players and give them a little helping hand, but I try also to not kind of like ruin the experience for them. But uh, my what I feel like I have to be kind of careful about is accepting too much stuff because of like increased exposure because of YouTube. Uh, I get quite a few offers like, oh, let me know if there's anything you need. And I'm always kind of a loss for words because I don't know what I need until I need it. And then I usually just go out and get it. But uh, so yeah, I think I am going to, or I don't think, I am going to accept this stuff. However, it's going to be with a twist. Uh, I'm going to essentially kind of pay it forward, so to speak. So I might put this stuff into storage and as I need it, I'm essentially going to buy it. But instead of uh, just kind of what, throwing the coins on the ground or something, I might buy like a piece of dirt for the equivalent of what this stuff is worth. So in other words, uh, if you continue watching, you might be able to cash in on some pretty easy money or uh, maybe lucky passerbys will be able to uh, get a nice extra boost of coinage. So again, quick shout out to Zachro and thank you for your viewership. But uh, anyway, let's get back to business here. So let's kind of run out here. Uh, I went a little bit further away from the beacon because... Yeah, I'm wondering, I either missed out on getting some experience on the last round. Hmm, well, no, I don't know. I never seem to get credit for these tables right here, or as soon as I walk into the beacon, for some reason, I do get credit for them. Because I've, I've gotten experience from them in the past, but uh, the first time I did this with this many tables, I got about you know, the 400 and change thousand experience, which is what I just got. It just seems a little weird that I walk close to these tables, I get experience. I walk close to these tables and I get experience. Uh, even these in the corner, I get some experience and I walk over here and I don't seem to get any additional experience. So either I'm like automatically getting it for some reason or maybe I'm missing out on it. I'm not really sure. I'll have to maybe experiment and just queue up all of these tables over here and see if I still get the 400. Or actually, I guess I could do, um, I have a calculator kind of set up somewhere that I did for a video that I could um, count how many tables I have and then that will tell me how much rock I've used and how much experience I should be getting. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to dig that out right this second. Let's switch over to, as you can see, my teaching buff is just about completely dead. Uh, the last time I queued up all of this rock, it actually takes quite a bit of time just queuing the rock up. So, but uh, actually, what I'm forgetting is, uh, let's see here. Okay, nice. We're up to level 35. So we got five levels out of that. There's our five cleanse points. So not shabby at all. Let's see here, that puts us up to how many? Nice, 41 skill points. So I guess we can go ahead and max out this power. Uh, dexterity might not be a bad thing to get. Let's see here, can we get the, yes, we can get the damage epic now. That's gonna be quite important. 
And okay, yeah, shovel and axe epic's probably a pretty safe bet. I mean, it's going to be surface stuff, so that's shovel or axe. Um, something I'm starting to do with my other surface gatherer is getting to the point that maybe you can start filling out a second skill tree. So um, in order to take more niceties like the jump height epic, he's like going to maybe have one spec that's just for shovels and one spec that's just for axes. But naturally, we can't really do that right now. But uh, we don't need vitality. We could start working on stealth. Ooh, but luck. Yeah, let's... Go ahead and max out luck. And I I guess we're just gonna have to keep saying it's like, okay, maybe get the stealth first, but it doesn't make sense to get the stealth before we're really at a usable state, so. So yeah. We don't necessarily need max agility. It's kinda nice, but so yeah, I guess we can start filling out control, and then we can get the stealth epic at some point. Ooh, but we're also going to need energy regeneration. It's pretty painful <laughs> to not have energy regeneration. Okay, nice. So we already have max zeal. That's right, we did it uh, last time for the sake of the buffs. Okay, so that's really all we can do for now. Okay, enough rambling. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and apply that. And let's hop over to test tube and do a little bit of crafting. I should have uh, a fair amount of refined iron already kind of cooked up. I've been, you know, as I come home and drop off all of the rock and stuff, I, uh, you know, get things kind of smelting and uh, whatnot kind of turned over a little bit. We might be getting kind of low on fuel. See, I don't see any compacted peat over here. Oh, but we've got like oodles and goodles of compacted peat in the compactor. So that's a little bit reassuring. Down to 76,000 sparks. Let's dump, I guess, 100 in there. Get it a little bit spread out. I don't think we're really going to need spark right this second, unless we should have... Wow! Okay, so I went to uh, mining last night and put two smart stacks of iron or 1800 pieces of iron. It is still going in or still smelting. That is kind of impressive. It's like, let's see here. Okay, maybe it's taken 13, 14 hours? To get this far because I think we stopped playing around 10 o'clock last night. So yeah, that sounds about right. About 13, 14 hours. It's kind of impressive. First, I guess I could just do a little bit of math. So yeah, it's 30 seconds for each times 1800. And uh, yeah, I don't think I even started this one, but uh, look at all of the silver. I already have smelted, plus I went over here and I finally, like, it was clogging up my other shelves over there, so I just have, like, a ridiculous amount of ore, at least compared to what I've had previously in this playthrough. Uh, let's see here, it looks like the silver's not really condensed for some reason, but... So, yeah, we've got ore for days, and in fact, I was a little bit concerned because I was, uh, I was afraid I was gonna, like, bankrupt myself with, uh, buying hammers. And I was down to like 26,000 and showed no signs of the, the coin kind of slowing down on, on draining. And uh, But then I was like, well, wait a second, I have all this silver ore, I don't necessarily need it. And I went and sold like, I think it was 699, so basically uh, 700 pieces and got about 19,000 and change. So, let's see here. I have... Along with all this ore, I've been getting tons of uh, fossils, so it's kind of like, well, why not go ahead and turn us into Ancient Vital Essence, since it takes a long time for this stuff to craft, especially if you're trying to make those new uh, advanced decorative blocks. Like, you need 2,000 of this stuff at a time uh, for one mass craft of, like, the, the marble or mosaic or what, whatever you're trying to craft. 
Not to mention the... Needs like a, what, a thousand and change of the fresh vital essence. Which, we don't have just a huge stockpile of animal products. We have a decent amount, but if we start crafting those blocks, we'll probably burn through it in no time. Let's see, oh yeah, let's check on the compactor. Well, yeah, there'll be some of it. Nice, we got 400 there. Can this... There we go. Yeah, I need to figure out a better way of doing my crafter, because it's just like, since you can craft out of your inventory, it's just like, oh, I'll just leave everything in my inventory, and then I never have room for, uh, really anything, so. Let's see here. How much do we... Oh, wow, so we have 450 of this stuff. So I guess I'll leave it there? I mean, compacted iron doesn't necessarily have a whole lot of use other than turning it into refined or machined iron that I can think of at the moment. But uh, still, we might want to do a little bit of decoration with compacted iron, and that should be plenty for our shop needs. We could always use it in building our houses, but... So let's see, is there anything... Else, I mean, look at all the stone that's still over here. We almost have three, you know, basically two and maybe a quarter because that's not really condensed fully. But uh, yeah, so we have enough stone for basically a whole nother round of crafting. Maybe I should even put up some more tables, but uh, let's put up these fossils. And, ooh, that's another thing. I think this character has leveled up. Yeah, so I have a few points to spend. Very nice. So I think that actually completes the forging spec. So we have max vitality, power, intelligence, along with the attribute bonus. We should have, yes, the forging epic down below. So, yeah. So other than needing maximum power on the forge, we're pretty good. Ooh, okay. Something I really, really want to make is um, a new loot magnet that has both the the glow boon as well as you know being a loot magnet and i think i'll do it on a spanner because the cool thing about spanners is that even if you accidentally hit with the spanner so you can see i have the blue bar that means it's never been used oh well that's interesting huh so I guess that is no longer a thing, because it was several patches ago they changed it to where spanners would not lose durability unless they actually repaired a machine. And I guess that feature is now broken, or for some reason it's not working, so... Um, so we've already established that hitting the ground uses durability. What else? We're at... 897. Oh! So even just whacking the air uses durability. Is this for everything now? No, totems! Totems are working correctly. So yeah, as soon as I actually hit something, it uses durability, but, uh, so yeah, spanners are completely broken at the moment. They're not, not completely broken, but the, the way the durability is working is not working as intended, or at least as that one patch intended. And they never mentioned anything about undoing it, at least intentionally, so... Okay, enough rambling on that. That's a little bit disappointing, because I figured I, um, could do a, a... I watch him a jigger a spanner and then never really have to worry about it breaking, but apparently that's not the case. So, but uh, yeah, we can grab that iron, maybe go work on the shop a little bit. I thought maybe the next episode would be focused on making coin, but as I already talked about earlier, 
uh, I was able to sell some of my silver for, yeah, that pumped me very nicely back up into the 45,000 range. Uh, and, you know, more coin is always nice, but that's fairly comfortable for me at the moment. That allows me to buy uh, several rounds of AoE tools to then do all sorts of things. So, let's see here. I think I have... I should have tools over at the shop. Oh, compactor. Need the refinery. Ooh, we have more... I don't think we really need more of this stuff, but we have it. Might as well take it. And we might could even go shopping. Let's see here. Do I have skill points to spend? Ooh, I do. So yeah, this character, since I've been doing all of this mining, he's actually been leveling up pretty darn fast himself. So he's up to 43. And yeah, he just about has a full-fledged mining spec. Let's see here. He could use some more control. It's not really necessary. Uh, he doesn't even really need that much agility. But yeah, we got maximum dexterity. Oh, okay, that's what we're kind of missing, is we don't have maximum hammer mastery, but we do have the hammer epic, of course the damage epic down below, and anything else. Oh, I finally gave him, like, maximum zeal and the energy epic, because using those diamond tools, uh, it gets kind of painful after a while of every... 30 seconds, or if it's even that long, of having to stop and regenerate energy. So, yeah, he has like, what is it, 12,000 energy? It's actually quite nice. Oh, 6,000, excuse me. I'm not sure I was getting the 12,000. Maybe that's HP that's 12,000. But, and the jump distance epic, that would be nice. So we have 82. Yeah, we should have room to get the jump distance epic, but we still need at least, yeah, we still need volatile protection, maybe one more in the caustic. And that should be pretty good. There's somewhere... Okay, so we could unlearn this hammer mastery. Uh, for one cleanse point, and then we could pick up the chisel epic. I think that's what originally got me looking at this, is uh, we could go pick up a... what would we need? I know, gold and silver would be nice to be able to do both slope and bevel. But uh, so far we haven't used anything sloped, I don't think. We do have copper chisels to do uh, the basic slope. Okay, so we're picking up after <laughs> the shout out that I did earlier in the video, which actually happened basically right now, but let's head back over, or where are we going? The the shop. Slash maybe looking for some gold chisels, which theoretically sh we should be able to find at New Laden. I don't know, I tried to find uh, some iron tools there at one point, and yeah, at the time there was like none available anywhere. I was kind of surprised, but then again, it's like, who really, you know, except for maybe the very beginning players buy iron tools. And uh, they're pretty dirt cheap. I think there is, seems like I saw a new player shop somewhere around in here. I don't know. But, uh, yes, shop. <laughs> Try not to get too terribly. Okay. So yeah, if we can get a gold chisel, we could make this gleam look a lot nicer. Uh, not to mention, we can make the iron, because I, originally I was thinking of, like, um, bars going across, but then I had the idea of, like, oh, we can make it kind of look like Vs. Let's see here, how do we want to place... That puts the symbol on the top if we place it on the ground, so that's probably a good idea. I think we'll have to run over here and get some basic tools right quick. And, oh yeah, put them over here. There we go. So there's, we'll definitely need hammer, chisels wouldn't be a bad idea. These are my, yeah, they are my regeneration bombs. I don't really need those. We might need the axe. Okay, yeah, so we're back over here. Let's get this hammer equipped. And put the blocks over here. And it shouldn't make a difference 
placing them on the ceiling versus the floor. That's probably actually an easier way of doing it. Okay. So, we don't have a precise chisel yet, so we can go ahead and play around with a couple of options of uh, kind of what I was originally thinking of. So let's go ahead. There we go. Now, I was originally thinking of doing a square chisel, but it might be kind of interesting just to see what it's like with the bevel. Okay, so let's... Well, that's interesting. How, how did I hit that corner through that block? That That's pretty interesting. Well, I guess I was kind of looking up, so... I don't know. I guess we can go ahead and just do that. Okay, so yeah, that's, that doesn't look too shabby, but I could make those of like nested V's, at least to an extent, and that might look even better, but that doesn't look too shabby either. It's like you can still kind of see through there to some degree. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Let's take a look around. Maybe we can find... Uh, at least a gold chisel. Okay, so, uh, apparently New Laden, as far as I can tell, I'm probably overlooking somebody's shop, and I do apologize, <laughs> but uh, as far as I can tell, there are no precise chisels for sale here, so I'm going to go over to the, sh um, the shopping mall. Yeah, it's kind of a Jayosa shopping mall and uh, take a look around there. It's kind of like a maze of shops, so it might take me a while, so I'll do that off camera, but I do want to get a gold chisel and uh, apparently blanking on, oh yeah, I think I usually go over to Portal Seekers to get there, but okay, so see you in a bit. Okay, we're over here at uh, Tarakun's Tools, something like that, uh, 05 as far as the, the shop number. It unfortunately doesn't have the chisel I'm looking for, but it does have a titanium chisel, and it seems to be a reasonable price. I've seen, I think the cheapest I've seen titanium tools are 750 and chisels kind of have, I think they have extra funny uh, materials, like maybe some, well the grapples have tech components. I don't know, but anyway, that's not a horrible price. I'll go ahead and pick up one of those. It should have... Okay, so I got 800 durability. It's kind of strange because most titanium tools have more than that. So here, the bows have 1200. I think the tools have the same. So I'm not sure why the chisels actually have less than that, so... But anyway, uh, should be plenty... Ooh, very nice. So we're at 04 Fantasy Tree, and how 500 it looked like? That's probably a bit high considering it's just gold, but I'll take it for the convenience. 250 for silver. Okay, done deal. Got that out of the way. Probably overcharged a bit for the gold, but it works. Okay, so let's... We're actually pretty close to Portal Seeker Hub right here. And we can head over to the Lambulus Hub and use, yeah, New Laden connection right here. Did I pass it? Oh, because <laughs> I expected it to be on my right. Okay, so that was a bit of an adventure. Just to find the chisels. Let's see here. Okay, they're all stacked. 
together, so shouldn't really need the square or the slope just yet. Oops. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go ahead chisel these all down to half blocks. Is that? Oh, it's part of the planet. It's like, there's no meteors on this planet, and since when do they have blue trails? <laughs> like, I mean, I guess during the, the winter event there was uh, snowball meteors, but still, I think they still looked like the regular fireballs. It's just when they hit the ground they were snow. But uh, Okay, so got that down to half blocks. So now it's just a matter of... Oh crap, we don't have the skill, that's right! Okay. Not too bad of a... of a mistake. So we were going to unlearn the hammer mastery and pick up... Where is it? Is it further? No? Maybe it's... oh, it's... yeah, it's further up. Chisel epic. Okay, under epic one. See how often I have to <laughs> take this skill. And, uh... So yeah, if we're gonna do Vs, it's gonna be something along the lines of... Oh, I just messed up. Well, we could do diamonds. We could try that out. I don't think I'm gonna like the diamonds as well, but kind of messed up. So we can do... A variety of things and then pick the one we like the best. But yeah, it kind of bugs me that we have an incomplete one, or, or rather that the ends don't match. If this end could also be that, or vice versa, I don't know, I guess it's not horrible. I think I would rather have this at the bottom and this at the top, but... I, know, I think the V is going to look better. Okay, so let's try to not mess up on this one. So I'm going to do corner, corner. Yeah, let's just do all the bottom corners. Yeah, it looks pretty interesting just like that. Other than I do want to be able to kind of see through it. Go ahead and punch out the other side as well. And yeah, I'm not hugely confident I'd be able to hit that from the other side. So yeah, that's kind of interesting in its own right. Let's go ahead do the middle as well. Ooh. I think that's actually kind of cool. Was it? Well, it's going to look kind of, yeah, still like that on the other side, so. Hmm. Well? I don't know. It's okay <laughs> for some reason. I mean, we could try to put a better point on the V's, but then that's going to really reduce the number of V's that are up, you know, ultimately going to be there. I'm a little bit surprised I don't like that nearly as much as I thought I was going to. It's not bad, though. I mean, that, I feel, has much better visibility, because, like, right at this kind of eye level, you would be able to see shop stands and, through, and stuff through it. Theoretically. Whereas... You might see a little bit, you probably just see the bottoms, that's pretty obstructed view. Uh, let's see here. We do... The better points on the V's, that might... Give better visibility, because there'll be less of them. Same thing, let's get this down to half blocks. Oh, that was... <laughs> I was afraid that was gonna do... Ooh, we misplaced these blocks. 
somehow. Okay, so if we're going to do pointy points, <laughs> then we need to reduce this down to pretty small. Let's see here. It's going to have to be the top corner, isn't it? So something like, yeah, that. And then we can do that. And let's see, yeah, that's going to be... Yeah, see how there's going to be a much bigger space? Like, we're really only going to be able to get, what, two Vs, it looks like? And we can have a little bit of a point there, but it's just going to be like just the absolute beginning. Oops. But did I, did I hit the... Okay, maybe I hit something that was incompatible? I don't know. Or if it was incompatible, the chisel shouldn't even have swung, so... Something got damaged. <laughs> okay, so... I think I do like this better than this one. Yeah, that kind of has kind of um kind of an elegance to it. Ooh, I wonder. I think I can actually do that. Let's see, let's move that. And I think what we can do is we can maintain these opposite corners. Well, no, won't they? Oh, yeah, it has to be like not only opposite corners, but like instead of being this back side, it has to be the front side. So, yeah, if we main, and then we're just doing the, the X's again. Okay, so never mind. So, if we wanted to do something like that. What would we have to do? So we're going to maintain that corner and that corner, so then basically hit everything but those corners. So yeah, you can do that, but they have to not only be opposite, and they have to be opposite in both axes, so <laughs> something like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's going to be incompatible with that particular space. Kind of wondering yeah like instead of starting with a point have the point like it's buried in the ground which in fact it just won't be there but um, that will lower this first V give it maybe a little bit better visibility and allow that one to come down a little bit more so let's try that over here and, okay, so now we can just do that. That's going to give our blunted, and now we're going to switch over to do the pointy. And, yeah, that's going to be pointy there. Let's finish this. Hmm. I don't know, that seems a little bit more elegant to me for some reason. Then I guess this is maybe slightly better... I don't even know if balanced is the right word. 
And maybe we should orient these a little bit different. I, I wasn't noticing that the symbol is showing up. Kind of usually like to try to hide the symbol, but we're still just kind of experimenting, so not really that big of a deal. I think that's kind of our two options. I was like trying to think, like, well, if we drop this down just a little bit more, but I don't think that's really going to do... I think it's kind of, we can either do this or we can either do that, because if we drop this down anymore, that's going to completely remove that, and then it's going to be the same situation over here where we have a floating, so... Hmm. I don't know. I like them both, for different reasons. This seems a little bit more interesting because it has just the point right there, but then this feels more complete because of... You know, there's more V's that are fairly similar. I mean, this very bottom one's missing the point, but you can kind of imagine that it's buried in the rock or something. And... Still curious, what did we hit? <laughs> but, uh... Okay, but anyway, let's see here. We can go ahead... Do something like that. I kind of like this corner piece like that, though. Do we have... Let's see here, the gleam is probably back over here in the storage shelves. Okay, I think that's... Well, wait a second. Yeah, that's actually not going to work. Sorry to say I wanted to uh, make maybe like a, a vertical diamond. But it's not going to be able to center on that pole. So about the best we can really hope for is a uh, horizontal. Hmm. Yeah, that would be... I think that would look so much better if it was rotated. 90 degrees but I mean I could do that but then it's gonna be offset so interesting yeah I might kind of rethink those lights and maybe we could uh, do something along the lines of that It. What's the issue here? Looks like it's... There we go. Guess it didn't like it that I was trying to place it on that block for some strange reason. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Okay, so I got all of those corner lights kind of uh, chiseled like that. I think I'm fairly happy with that. I think I'm going to have to rethink these lights. I might could literally just put kind of like some floating uh, chiseled pieces of gleam. Maybe, I'm not quite sure, but uh, this seems a little too big and it feels like it should be rotated the other way which isn't really going to work so yeah uh, something I'm kind of thinking of is I wanted to work some iron into these uh, beams up here I think I want to use machined iron but we could kind of experiment a little bit Just kind of like, I don't know, their joints or something, or... But, uh, let's... Let's kind of see what happens here. Okay, so got all four corners. Um... 
I guess it doesn't really add just a whole lot. Maybe if it's machined, it might be a little bit better. But uh, at the same time, it's like it does add a level of detail that if somebody comes and really looks, they'll notice it. But not like it just really jumps at it, out at you like, oh, that's really awesome or something. So, And uh, since this is a thicker beam. Oh, yeah, we were actually. Now we can fix these corners. Yeah, I guess I already got it. Oh! Maybe that's what I should do. Instead of doing like that, which, you know, it's not horrible, but not exactly amazing either. I could do more of a diagonal brace. Hmm. I kind of like the idea behind that, but what's going to happen is basically this. <laughs> Unless I only do it for select corners, like maybe just on the really big beams. So now they're kind of feeling more like skylights rather than braces. But uh, certainly... I just do the bigger ones, that works a little bit better. Yeah, maybe that's what I'll do. I'm not really 100% convinced of this. That's a little bit interesting. It's like, um, I don't know. It's a C or an N. <laughs> so, I don't know. Just not really sure. I think it needs to be machined iron for sure but it just doesn't really well yeah it adds a little bit of contrast I suppose so yeah let's um, I'll probably maybe on my own time get some machined iron crafting certainly have plenty of refined and uh, even plenty of compacted after that so I think that will wrap this episode up quite nicely, probably. <laughs> it's going to be a bit longer unless, like, I don't know, I could probably cut out some of the, the not-so-exciting bits. But uh, anyway, this was Javita. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Also, if you like my channel and want to get cool perks, check out my Patreon page. Until next time, peace.